there are actually several options for treating brain aneurysms. Uh, they range from open surgical techniques, uh, meaning you actually go in and, and it's uh, opening the skull and, and uh, removing the aneurysm by using a clip, to wait and watch and surveillance of this because some aneurysms inside the brain strangely enough, don't need to be treated. And, uh, and it's actually more risky if you were to opt for a treatment plan uh, with certain categories of brain aneurysm. And that's why it's so important to have these patients come and talk to us and, and go through the various options. The one option we actually use most frequently now, because uh, research and literature certainly support this type of uh, care, is the minimally invasive treatment of an aneurysm. Uh, using uh, what's called endovascular techniques or uh, similar models to what cardiologists do for the heart now where they use wires and catheters through the arterial system instead of opening the chest and, and being directly involved with the heart uh, you use the already existing arterial system to allow you to source, uh, allow you to transport your tools um, to the location in which you need them all right, so from our uh, procedures, we tend to go through the artery starting in the leg uh, all the way up into the head. And many patients are confused why we would take that route. Um, and the reason for that is safety. It's actually one of the easiest places to get into the arterial system in the body. It's a safe and, and well-studied uh, region of the body to both get in and get out without bleeding or, or an infection rate that's, uh, that's very high. So that's, these are ideal situations for us because we can then treat an aneurysm with making a tiny little incision just down uh, at the leg and repair an aneurysm inside the head. And that's really all the patient has to show for it is this little tiny incision. It's less than a centimeter in length.